Hi, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to remote debug Safari on iOS 6. Uh, this applies particularly to the iPad, which is what I'm going to show you today. Um, I'm going to be using the iPad simulator. Um, it works just as well on a USB connected hardware iPad. So the first thing you need to do, what we're going to do now, is start the iPad simulator. Uh, you can do that uh, from uh, the Xcode package. If you show package contents, uh, look in applications, and you'll see the what's called the iPhone simulator, although it's also just the iPad. Um, start that up, and we'll just rotate it. Okay. The first thing you need to do is in settings, uh, Safari, advanced. Make sure you've got Web Inspector on. Uh, and as it says here, you can enable the Develop menu, which you'll need to do uh, in, in Safari on your Mac. This only works on a Mac. Uh, and the advanced preferences, so I'll have a look at that now. Okay, so we can go home now, and we will leave that there. So now in Safari preferences, make sure in advance you've got the Show Develop menu in the bar there. Now, when you start Safari on your iPad, I've got a convenient debugging page, test page here. When you go to Safari and look in the Develop menu, you'll see we've got iPad Simulator, and here's that page uh, in this sub-menu. And you can see it highlighting in the background there as we hover over it. If we choose that, we get the Web Inspector brought up for that page. Bit smaller. You can, in fact, now get rid of this uh, original Safari window you started because you've got the iOS Safari window here and you've got your Web Inspector here happily playing together. Um, that's how you start debugging, and there's lots of other stuff to look at in terms of the Web Inspector itself, um, but so far, so good. I shall look at the more of the features here uh, in further videos. Thanks very much.